Chair does not recognize himself. Quote, Mr. Weiss has full authority to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. That was your response, Attorney General, to Senator Grassley's question on March 1st, 2023. You just referenced it when Mr. Bishop was questioning you. Only problem is he'd already been turned down by the U.S. Attorney in the District of Columbia, Mr. Graves. So he didn't have full authority, did he? I had an extended conversation with uh, Senator Grassley at the time. We briefly touched on the Section 515 question and how that process went. Um, I have never been suggested. Simple. My point's real simple, Mr. Garland. You said he had complete authority, but he'd already been turned down. He, he wanted to bring an action in the District of Columbia, and the U.S. Attorney there said, no, you can't. And then you go tell the United States Senate under oath that he has complete authority. I'm going to say again that uh, no one had the authority to turn him down. They could refuse. Uh, to partner with him, they could you not. You can use whatever you, you, language. They, refuse to partner is turning down. Well, it's not the same under a well-known Justice Department practice. Here, here's why the statute of limitations question is important that Mr. Bishop was getting at just a few minutes ago. Here's why it's important. You let the statute of limitations lapse for 2014, 2015. Those were the years with the felony tax charges where Hunter Biden was getting uh, income from Burisma. Here are four facts that I think are so important. Hunter Biden was put on the board of Burisma, made a lot of money, got paid a lot of money over those years, a couple million bucks. He wasn't qualified. Fact number two, he wasn't qualified to be on the board of Burisma. Not my words, his words. He said he got on the board because of his last name, the brand, as Devin Archer said when he was under oath and we deposed him. Fact number three, Burisma executives told Hunter Biden, we're under pressure, we need help. Fact number four, Joe Biden goes to Ukraine, leverages our tax money, American people's tax money, to get the prosecutor fired who was applying the pressure. Interestingly enough, that fact is entirely consistent with what the confidential human source told the FBI and they recorded in the 1023 form. The same form Mr. Ray didn't want to let this committee and the Congress see. That all happened. That all happened. And what I'm wondering is why you guys let the statute of limitations lapse for those tax years that dealt with Burisma income. There's one more fact that's important, and that is that this investigation was being conducted by Mr. Weiss, an appointee of President Trump. You will, at the appropriate time, have the opportunity to ask Mr. Weiss that question, and he will no doubt address it in the public report that will be transmitted to the Congress. I don't know the answer to did those questions. Did they forget? Did the lawyers just like let it, did they just like, oh, darn, we let it, did they, were they careless? I expect that won't be what he says, but because I you promise. You know that's not the case, because as Mr. Bishop pointed out, they had a tolling agreement. They had, they talked to Hunter Biden's defense counsel and say, let's extend the statute of limitations. And then at some point they made an intentional decision to say, we're going to let the statute of limitations lapse. And I want to know who decided that and why they did it. Mr. Weiss was a supervisor of the investigation at that time and at all times. He made the necessary appropriate decisions, and you'll be able to ask him that question, and he will. You know why they did it. Everyone knows why they did it. You may not say it, but everyone knows why they did it. They didn't, Baris, those tax years, that's that, that dealt with the, pre, that involved the president. It's one thing to have a gun charge in Delaware. That doesn't involve the president of the United States. But Burisma, oh my, that goes right to the White House. We can't have that. And we can slow walk this thing along. We can even extend the statute of limitations and then we can intentionally let it lapse. And we know this investigation was slow. Here's what everyone said. Shapley said, DOJ slow walked the investigation. Ziegler, slow walking and the approvals of everything. This happened at the Delaware's attorney's office and DOJ tax level. Mr. Sobosinski, the FBI agent said, I would have liked to th see things move faster. Ms. Holly said the same. Every witness we've talked to said this thing was slow walked and we know why. They slow walked it long enough to let the statute of limitations run so they wouldn't have to get into Burisma. Tell me where I'm wrong. Will the gentleman think, yield? No, I'm asking the, the, yeah. Mr. Garland the question. I think I've tried to make clear that I don't know the specifics of the investigation. Much of what you are describing occurred uh, during the Trump administration, during a uh, Justice Department appointed by President Trump. No, it didn't. This is four and a half years of this investigation. We're talking about the last few years. Your statement was just this year, March 1st, to, to Senator Grassley. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to respond to your descriptions of what the uh, IRS um, um, uh, agents said about certain the statute things. statute of limitations is six years. That lapsed 
that lapse here in, in, the, in the Biden on administration. The, on the statute of limitations, I um, will say again that the explanation for why the statute of limitation was lapsed, if it was, has to come from Mr. Weiss. My time is this, but let me ask one, la one last question real quick here. Uh, who decided that David Weiss would stay on as U.S. attorney? Look, uh, this had occurred at, before I came. Mr. Weiss had been uh, kept on. I promised the... Uh, no, I didn't say, you can walk all through that. I said, who decided? The White House decided. Mr. Weiss... Right? They serve at the pleasure of the president, right? Mr. Weiss was... Joe Biden point. decided to keep David Weiss as U.S. attorney. Uh, you weren't sworn in until March. He was... He was... He was... He was, he was, just, they, he was told he was going to stay on in has February. Expired. Pretty fundamental question. Who decided David Weiss was going to stay as U.S. attorney in Delaware? Mr. Mr. Weiss, Chairman, your time has your, expired. Mr. Chairman, your time has expired. I, I'm waiting for an answer, and then I'll... And I'll well, then you asked the question after your time had expired already. Point of order. Gentleman can respond, then I'll go to Ms. Jackson Lee. Mr. Weiss was the um, special uh, uh, U.S. attorney from the District of Delaware when I came on. He had been appointed by President Trump. I promised that he would be permitted to stay on for this investigation, and that is what happened. General Lee from Mr. Texas, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Gentleman from uh, New York, Mr. Chairman, I believe you misquoted uh, from the transcript of the Senate and of the Senate hearing. I therefore ask unanimous consent to enter into the record the entire transcript of the Senate hearing. With, without objection, but I, I didn't just quote what Mr. Garland said.